YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. TJ Hawkinson officially back with the Detroit Lions for two more seasons. The Lions exercised TJ Hop Hawkinson's fifth-year option. Let's talk about it. The move was widely expected, especially GM Brad Holmes addressed it during his media time at the NFL owners meeting in March. At that time, Holmes had this to say about Hawkinson. Hawkinson obviously is a big part of what we did last year. It was unfortunate when he became unavailable for us, but yet another player that will continue to lead on this year. Hawkinson is due to earn $9.4 million in the 2023 season, all of which it will be guaranteed. His one Pro Bowl appearance bumped up Hawkinson's options value. The Lions had until May 2nd to pick up the option. Uh, picking up the option now means that the Lions have exercised the fifth year option to work on an extension, on a contract extension. Three of the last four eligible first round picks, including Frank Ragnow in 2018 and Taylor Decker in 2016. This is big news. This is this is this is widely accepted, widely expected, but this is big news. In case you didn't know, TJ Hawkinson had one drop. You know, he had 81 targets, 61 receptions, 583 receiving yards, four receiving touchdowns, and one drop. Uh, nine point yards per completion and we can also say his 723 yard season as well in 2020 uh, with the 10 yards per reception and the six TDs uh, propelled him to be recognized by one of the league's best he has a 66.3 catch percentage he has a 54 in his rookie year and now a 72 now it just seems as though that he's the only receiver that we had last year. Hawkinson always been one of my guys. I was one of the first people to defend Hawkinson when it came to Mike Valenti wanting to trade him and draft a tight end for no reason. But the big thing about Hawkinson is he's going to have to be available. He's going to have to be available all year. It'd be nice. Um, it'd be nice to have him for 12 games. But we want him for probably 16, 17 games. You know, 2020, he played all the games that were there. Uh, the team thought they was ready to win. Now they clearly weren't uh, very far from the far from where they needed to be. I like Hawkinson. I, I don't see no problem with the move. The fifth year option is something that you know. Thank God for it, uh, <laughs> because the Lions, the Lions definitely need to work on a long term contract. And then, you know, obviously people people in the past have, you know, criticized Hawkinson. Um, Adam Baydoun, one of them, saying he's giving you the same numbers as Eric Ebron. The team hasn't been good, at least since he got here, you know. And it's been a long time since he had that amazing, you know, Arizona game where he was just catching at like 100 yards in the game and it was the leading tight end and the first time a rookie tight end at immediate media success like that so for me you got to look at um hawkinson in the full spectrum you got to see look this is a guy that's all pro he on any other roster or any other quarterback he's going to give you everything you need and you know i'm just glad to have him up for the next two years till 2025 2024 so again we're going to work on a long-term deal i am interested in seeing his I am interested in seeing how much he gets paid you know he was he's tied for 13th in terms of targets and he's tied for ninth in terms of receptions and when it comes to uh, when it comes to receptions on the team he's only the third best option Jared Goff threw the ball to uh, DeAndre Swift 62 times and obviously St. Brown 90 times. So for me, I'm just I'm just interested in how is this dude gonna be moving forward and, and what can we expect for him? You know, I, I just I'm just excited to see Hawkinson get his just due. I'm gonna be excited to see what he makes per year. Tight end is an actually interesting position because tight ends, you know, they give you the build of the receiver sometimes but they're not paid like a receiver they pay like an offensive lineman maybe him and um 
Kittle are going to be the next tight ends to actually change the uh, change the rate of pay. Maybe 13 million per year, 10 million per year, uh, 12 million per year. So anxious to see how that goes. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more news.